All right, guys, welcome to another British Gantry video. It's 2017. We're going to do another lap of the Nürburgring. Not a crazy fast lap. If you're looking for a crazy fast lap, go look for one of my VLN laps, okay? This is my beginner's guide to lapping the Nürburgring Nordschleifer in 2017, okay? We're going to do it on the Tourist Spartan. Today, the weather is absolutely fantastic, as you can see. And we've got this E36 that we've rented from Racers Retreat uh, in Nürburgring. So it's nothing too crazy. It's a 323 six cylinder full roll cage, racing seats, harnesses, typical good rental car to start your Nürburgring career. And we are here at the ED Tanksteller. The ED Tanksteller is right next to the track. And also when you put in GPS, I want to go to the Nürburgring, you're probably going to see this place on your way in. So at this point here, you can pick up and say, ah, I know where this is. And now I'm going to show you how to get to the track, how to get your ticket, and then how to drive a lap and show you a few little tricks of the trade, some secret stuff uh, that will help you uh, have a nicer day. And if you have any problems as well. So good, let's get on with it. This is the E36 that we're borrowing from RR. I'm wearing a helmet today and I know on a lot of my videos people say you're not wearing a helmet well that's when I'm driving the ring taxi but when I'm driving a nice car with a full roll cage then I'll wear a helmet so here we are on the Dottingahoe Strait heading out to the track. Da, da, da. Oh, there's Rich in his McGann. It's an absolutely beautiful day. You can see on the left side of the camera, down there is the industry estate. That's where all the manufacturers have their test centers. And we're going to turn left towards Zufart Nordschleifer, which is Entrance Nordschleifer. And we're going to go under the Nordschleifer and under the main road. So there's two tunnels. Ah, three tunnels. Under the Nord Schleifer in the middle. And we've crossed over to the other side of the Duttingahoe Strait. And guys, if you're getting bored already, then just skip forward a few minutes. This stuff is really for the guys who've never been here before. And you can see on the left, the Nord Schleifer going up to the cones. And you see the neon signs up there, that's where the Nordschleifer is, the entrance to the Nordschleifer, and that's where we're going to go in. On the right hand side is the overflow car park, which in summer will be full. Today is very quiet, it's the first day of the season, 2017, and there's not so much happening. So, when you get here for the first time, you're going to need some lap tickets, and you do not go left for your lap tickets, okay? You go right ticket office, first exit, going this direction. And you see the big blue porter cabin, and that is where you can buy your tickets. Just pop in there, speak to the girls, buy your tickets and come out. Of course, this year there's also an app, so you can buy your tickets before you even get here. I'll explain that more fully on the website. Good, we're not going to go into the overflow car park, we're going to go straight back out and I'll show you how the car park works on this side. When you've got your lap tickets, you are good to come into the main Nordschleifer car park. In busy periods, you can expect them to be controlling lap tickets here, so they'll just want to know if you've really got a lap ticket before you come in. So two car parks, 
We're going to go into the right hand side one first. Without curbing the car. So this is a little car park just here. And this is on the Nordschleifer office side of the car park. So when people talk about the Nordschleifer office, the Nordschleifer burrow, that's on this side. And we're just going to do a lap of this little car park here. Again, if you're bored of me driving at five miles an hour around the car park, then feel free to skip forward or go check one of my VLM videos on my fast laps. This is a beginner's guide to the Nürburgring. Good, so now I'm allowed to go straight across when the marshal says it's safe, or I can go onto the track to the right. Oh, a Lancia going on track. Will he make it? This is the Devil's Diner side of the track, okay? Of the car park, rather. You can go left here. This is all the one-way system, so I'm following the one-way system. Nice Fiat. That's uh, two steps above the Punto, is it, that one? And there's my good old Ring Taxi office. Ring Taxi not manned today. And now you can go right lane to go back out and leave the track or left lane to go onto the track. So we're gonna go left lane. I'm gonna throw my helmet on. So I've got my helmet on. I've got my lap ticket already because I have a season ticket. You can take left lane or right lane here. We now have, big change for this year, three lanes. So I'm gonna take the middle lane, window down. I have my lap ticket. And this is where you use your ticket like this. Oh, like that. Good. Oh. It's not the same if I don't make a mistake at the, uh, <laughs> at the gate, you know. Every one of my videos has a small mistake at the <laughs> gate. So this is it. Let's do a bit of role playing and say this is my first lap at the Nürburgring, Ali. Ali's on the passenger seat, by the way. He's helping me. He's very, he's very quiet. Hello. <laughs> We're going to come out these cones and then this is it, Ali. We just go flat out from this point, right? Until we either finish the lap or we crash. Is that how we do it? Go hard or go home, is that it? Or go hard or go home. No. <laughs> what you want to do is you want to start nice and easy. If it's your first ever lap, just stick to the right hand side here, accelerate smoothly. In the race, this is where we come through absolutely flat out, full speed, into the dip, full attack. But in tourist park, we've gone under the bridge and we're heading down into the tear garden dip and up ahead is a marshal's car. Now the marshal car has not got any lights on and he's staying on the right hand side. So I'm going to indicate left. He knows I'm overtaking, and now even though it's a complicated section, it works like an autobahn. I stay on the left side, he stays on the right side, and that's how we do our overtaking. It's not a racetrack today. It's a very important thing to say. It's not a racetrack today. It's just a public road, and if anything ever goes wrong, it will be treated as two lanes on a public highway, like an autobahn. T13, I'm taking a racing line because I've just checked my mirrors, there's nobody there. You can see the Grand Prix track ahead of us. And we see a two kilometre side. Now my line, I'm coming out to the two kilometres, I'm turning in, I'm checking the mirrors all the time. And it's all looking pretty good. So now there's somebody coming. And I can see he's moving pretty fast, so I'm going to stay on the right-hand side through Hatzenbach here. I've got my right indicator on, and it doesn't matter what's behind you, okay? If it's behind you now and it wasn't before, then just move over. Here we go, it's 130 horsepower Scirocco, and he's going pretty quick. One of the new marshals here, so that's new for 2017. 
We have flag marshals in Cluris and Farton. They're also reporting bad driving. Bad driving is typically guys overtaking on the wrong side of the car, which is the right hand side, or driving too aggressively. Or indeed, as I got warned for this morning, drifting uh, in my front wheel drive estate car. <laughs> but, but still, new, new tarmac here at Flood Platz. And heading down to Schwedenkreuz. Again, role playing that this is not my first, you know, that this is my first lap, sorry. I'm not going to go flat out here, I'm going to stay mostly on the right. Fast cars can catch really quickly here. Over the crest. Braking before you get to Schwedenkreuz. And then gently on the gas on the way round not lifting in the middle. Lifting in the middle can provoke the car into understeer, you can have problems. So Arenberg is not quite finished. We have a new surface, but the edges haven't been painted or finished yet. And now down towards the foxhole. The foxhole is a really, really, really tricky section where a lot of people crash. Uh, it's one of the locations where the video guys will stay there all day because they just know that on a busy Sunday somebody's going to have a big crash here. What's new is the fence and this is going to help you. As we get to the top of the hill you can see that fence going left. So you know the angle of the corner before you get there. I'm hoping that's going to prevent a lot of accidents. And if it doesn't prevent the accidents at least there's a fence to catch you before you roll 100 feet into the forest. Had an outforced, nice and slow through here, late turning. If you go too fast into that and turn in too early, you will go across the grass. If you go across the grass or hit the barrier anywhere, just stop and think before you drive away. If you hit the bottom of your car on the floor, you might be dropping oil or water. See, I'm indicating right. And we're clear again. Oh dear. Somebody has just crashed. I would presume he's put the right hand side of the car into the barrier there. Okay, so that's not being called in yet. I'm not in a car with a car phone. I'm not going to be phoning that in. Um, nobody is stood in, in the way. There's nobody standing on the track. I will let the professionals deal with that accordingly. As a visitor, I always say, don't worry too much about flagging other people's accidents. Let the more experienced people do that because that is a serious responsibility. I know this is going to be a massive flame war underneath my video now that I drove past a parked car, but seriously, I'm not stopping for that one. Sorry. Their siphon hairpin, again, another accident black spot, and we have a marshal here. And the 114 turn in. Now, I did promise you some little tricks of the trade, didn't I, before? So here we go, 90 km per hour speed limit sign here. I'm going to indicate right, because I'm coming off the track. Now, if you've never been to the ring before, this is a bit of a surprise, maybe. I can get off at the halfway point, and I don't have to get all the way off the track. I'm indicating right, slowing down, out spot, the right side. Just like this. Now, you see this little car park area here. If I go out of this gate, if I go to the right here, I'll be out of the track and uh, my lap will have finished. And I spent full money to have half a lap. If I park over here, and I'll point the car in the right direction, park along here, then I can carry on, park the car, and walk through the barrier and go and have my lunch, and my lap is still running. Really, really good if you have a sick passenger or maybe you just want to break. Uh, but be aware that on Sundays it's very busy here, so you might just have to come straight back out again. So, now I'm entering the live track. I have to do it by myself, Germany being the land of responsibility checking to the left, all clear, driving onto the track, and now I am staying right, all the way up the hill, because if a GT3 is coming around that corner fast,
he's going to need the racing line there. Okay, back on the launch line for 10 kilometres done out to 20.8. Heading towards Bergberg. So for the second half of the lap, I'll pick the pace up a little bit. Turning in late for Bergberg, end of the curve, turn in, apex and out. I have some traffic behind me, but it's not catching me very fast at the moment, so I'm going to continue taking my racing line until he's within about 50 to 100 metres of me. Kesselschen, 1, 2 and 3. Surtees maybe, you can call this one Surtees, it has no name. And if you're worried about your car overheating or anything like that, this is a good opportunity to check your temperatures and if it's too hot, just back off and stay on the right. New fence here at Butkerba, end of the Rumble Strip, turn in. Butkerba, Angstkerba, two different names for the same corner. One is Courage Corner, one is Fear Corner. 13 kilometres heading towards Style Strecker. Style Strecker has also been resurfaced, braking in a straight line on the left hand side, down to the end of the curve turn in, apex of the 140, and then out. Oh, they've moved the 140 side. Aha, there you go, they've moved the 140 side. Apex after the 140. Carousel, if you've never done the carousel, check your mirrors, nobody behind me. Just drive straight in, boom. All four wheels on the concrete, and at the exit, Aim for the red and white curve. There it is, and follow the red and white. I'm going to move to the right now because this Focus RS is going to overtake me. It's okay, mate. It's okay. So this E36 has not got much power, but it has got proper suspension, semi slicks, and brakes. So when we get to our act, I think we're going to be able to catch this focus again. So I'll tell you what, just for a bit of fun, I'm going to show what an old 323 E36 can do when it's had some R&R magic. We don't break for that. We'll break a little bit for this. Look at the number which I'm flashing up on the screen now and it's in the video description. 
and phone the number, get yourself over the fence, get yourself safe, and let people know what's happened. Right, well that was a lap of the Nürburgring in 2017, using the new tickets, using the new gates, showing the newbies how to get here, because the GPS always takes you to the Formula 1 track. Only thing left for us to do is park in the car park and uh, talk about how we just did, uh, what, seven minutes, Bridge to Gantry, I think? Yeah, easy seven minutes. Seven minutes. And who knows, right? Nobody cares, nobody knows. So don't get stressed about doing lap times. If you want my super duper safety advice, when you get to the Nürburgring car park, take out your phone, find your Harry's lap timer app, and just delete it for the day, okay? If it's your first time here, just delete it. If it's your second time here, also feel free to delete it. Uh, I love Harry's lap timer and I've used it for many years, but honestly, the, it seems to be a bit corrupting chasing the lap times right now. Oh, well, that was a little bit naughty, cutting across the one-way system there, but the marshal said it was okay. Good. So, let's pop this open. Oh, <laughs> Must be down that side somewhere. Oh, I can see. Got it. Yeah, got it. Turn it around the right way. There we go. 22 minutes to do a lap. That's probably like some sort of lap record, isn't it? Easy. Good. Let's pop out the car. 